So I sometimes think Case gets a little bit of a bad rap from me and um, everybody else on YouTube, uh, just in general. I think because their quality control is certainly not what it should be. Um, as far as like some, a lot of times they leave or they let knives leave the factory in boxes to be sell, sold to customers seemingly without ever even looking at them. And I don't know how you do that. I mean, I know Case is a pretty big company when it comes to knife uh, manufacturers and everything, at least certainly compared to like Great Eastern Cutlery or Bear and Son. Um, but it certainly seems like there's quite a noticeable percentage of knives that just are not the way they should be leaving the factory. Good example of that is my Case Razor. Um, that I got. If you guys are following that saga, if you're not, well, um, I got a case razor. It was not the way that it should have been from the factory, and it wasn't something that I could fix. So I sent it in the case for warranty work, and to their credit, they fixed the problem and got the knife back to me. However, it did take like two months to do so. So I don't know what like normal warranty turnaround time is for a pocket knife company, um, but if that would have been my only knife, uh, that would have been a problem because I would have had to figure out something else out. Now, obviously, I have a whole bunch of knives. I don't know how many, but a lot. Um, so it wasn't a problem for me. You know, I just carried a whole bunch of other knives <laughs> during that time. Uh, but they did fix the razor. I got it back like two weeks ago, something like that. Uh, they fixed the problem I had with it. So, you know, all's good there. Um but I'd like to see cases, quality control, um, uh, improved. That's the word. Um, that being said, this medium stockman, I think this is the 18 pattern medium stockman because case makes like three or four different medium stockmans. There's like the 47, there's this one, and then there's another one. There might be a, third, a fourth one. I'm not really sure. Uh, but Case makes a lot of medium stockmans that they refer to as medium stockmans. I think this is one is the 18 pattern medium stockman. Um, but Shepherdell's Cutlery had a deal on these a little while ago. On these, I think it's called Chestnut Jig Bone. I'm going to show off right now. This side's a little better. It's like this darker brown uh, jig bone. Looks really good. The bone looks really pretty. I like it. This side's better than this side because this side's really dark. This side's a little lighter. I like that because it shows off the color better. Um, nice double X shield there. And these are in carbon steel, which is why I decided to pick one up because they went on sale. I thought, well, that's a good looking knife and it's in carbon steel. I don't know why I decided to get the Stockman instead of like the mini trapper or I'm trying to think of what the other options were. There was a mini trapper, a regular trapper, a medium stockman. There was something else. Slimline trapper, maybe? I should have gotten one of them. I don't have one of them yet. Uh, but I decided to go for the medium stockman. And to, cre to Case's credit, this knife is done pretty well. I'm, pre I'm actually very pleased with it. Um, the handles, like I said, look really good and everything. Uh, clip blade here. Got your uh, really slender clip blade on these uh, on this version of the medium stockman uh, blades uh, like two and a quarter. No, well that's not the whole blade. It's like two and a half inches with like a cutting edge of like two and a quarter inches. Um, really slender blade, uh, fairly thin blade stock, although not super thin, uh, but should be a pretty good slicey cutty blade. One thing I will point out is that this has a pretty rounded tip on it, which is something Case has had problems with in the past. Um, I think when they, you know, do their blades, tumble them or whatever they do uh, to polish them and everything, I think that, you know, they oftentimes overlook the idea of trying to keep a point on the blades. Um, so you get a little bit of a rounded off tip. That being said, this will still poke through plastic and everything. It's just not quite as uh, sharp of a tip as you would ideally want on a pocket knife like this. Um, action on that main blade. Really good. Um, and of course, you got your sheep's foot here. 
a little less action. Usually Stockman's, there's usually Stockman's, the main blade has pretty good action. And the other two are a little bit of a toss up. But I mean, it's not horrible. Certainly less action than the main blade. Uh, but you're a sheep's foot blade here. There's your pattern number. This is still stamped, so you can tell this was made a couple years ago. Uh, but USA 63, which I think is um, bone handles, is what the six is, and then the threes for three blades, I think. I, I haven't really learned Case's uh, numbering system as well as I've learned uh, Great Eastern Cutleries. And even that I don't know super well. Uh, but I think this is an 18 pattern because the last two digits are 1-8. It looks like. And you can see it's stamped USA there. And then we get the spade blade here. If I can get it open. Which is probably the worst action out of all of the blades. Um, no markings on that blade either. Um, so yeah, typical, typical uh, Stockman setup. You got your clip blades, sheep foot blade, and a spade blade. Um, here on the main blade once again is this stamped oh that's interesting i think the main blade i think the main blade is laser etched it is the main blade is a laser etched and then the pattern number on the sheep's foot and the carbon steel mark there are stamped that's very interesting i wonder what that's about uh, maybe this knife was made in some sort of transition period between the stamps and the laser etching. This is a one of one. It's what it is. I got the only one that's like that, I'm sure. Um, but that is very interesting on there. Um, so I guess they had not fully transitioned to the laser etching yet. Um, but yeah, overall, knives went together really well. I'll show you the back here. If I can, if I can, without the light glare here um really no gaps that i can see anyway um looks good as far as i can tell the um blades do rub that's pretty standard on a three blade uh knife that's sharing two back springs like this one is uh the sheep foot rubs up against the clip blade here and you can see it's pretty much resting against the clip blade and then the spade blade rubs against the sheep's foot. I think it's really hard to make the stockmen so that they don't rub. Like you could have moved the spade blade over just a little bit, it looks like maybe. But there's not a whole lot of room there for it. Meanwhile, my camera's not focusing at all. So there's not a whole lot of room there for it. You could have moved the sheep's foot over a little bit, but then it'd just be rubbing on the spade blade more. Um, and maybe you could have moved the clip point over this way a little bit. But, I mean, in my opinion, I don't think this is super easy to do. So I don't um, really care about blade rub. Blade rub on a stockman is to be expected as far as I'm concerned. Um, unless it's a three backspring stockman. You know, where each blade has its own backspring, in which case it shouldn't rub. But on a knife like this, I don't really care that it rubs because two backsprings, three blades, uh, you have to you know, bend and kink blades and stuff to get them to fit. And it's not always going to be perfect. But it's very seldom going to be perfect. So in an ideal world, your blades wouldn't rub, but I don't really care about it. Um, so e other than the blades rubbing, this knife's done extremely well. Um, and this is why case frustrates me because, you know, half the time you'll get a knife and it'll be great. And, you know, it'll be fit together really well won't have any problems, maybe some slight blade play or something that's really easy to fix or something that most people wouldn't even notice. Um, and then sometimes you'll get a, uh, and then like, I don't know, like 10% of the time, I'm going to say, you'll get a knife from Case and it'll have some serious issues with it um, where like the blade will have a whole bunch of play, which it shouldn't have. Or my razor, which is the first time I had ever seen it, the back spring wasn't holding the blade open correctly so the blade would kind of like uh, shake around while the knife was open which i had never seen that before but that was a big problem and then i got the small swell center jack the vault pattern for 22 i think and its covers were like or 21 
I think it was 21. I don't remember. Uh, the volt pattern for one of the years that was the swell, the small swell center jack. The the uh, handle bone handles were like shrunk, were like not shrunk, but there was a huge gap uh, between some of them. And the blade grind on the blade grinding on that knife was also not great. Um, so that's two knives that I remember getting from Case that were hard. Oh, I got a muskrat a little while ago, years ago that the kick on the one blade was ground down too much so the blade would just sit on the back spring um which it shouldn't do that because it has a kick um so that's another knife that i can think of that was done poorly but i think that's it i got i've gotten like three that were completely unfixable as far as i was concerned uh one of which i sent in for warranty work and they fixed the problem uh, the other two, I guess, I decided weren't worth sending in for some reason. Um, I think I just don't like dealing with the hassle of all that is really the problem. Um, and then, you know, maybe like 40% of the time, you'll get a knife that's like, it has some issues, but they're fixable or they're not really that, you know, big of an issue. Uh, but they're things that shouldn't be hard to like, fix or notice before you send the knife out to uh, sell and then you know sometimes you'll get a knife that's perfect so case frustrates me and i want case to do better uh this knife is really well done i will say um but some of them are not and i really wish that it could be one of those things where i could order a knife from case from an on online re retailer i'm having trouble speaking right now uh, from an online retailer and not have any kind of like thoughts about, well, maybe it's not going to be good when I get it. Maybe there'll be some major issue with it. Um, I would like Case to be where Great Eastern Cutlery is, where when I order the knife, I expect it to be perfect. Not perfect because, you know, nothing's perfect, but I expect it to be really well done. I want it to be what like Arthur Wright and Sun Knives are, where it's like, it's not necessarily perfect. Like the handle materials might have some slight imperfections in them or something, but the knife is certainly a usable knife and it's going to last for decades probably. Um, that's what I want from Case. And I'd love it if I could just order a knife, a Case knife and have no doubts in my mind about whether or not it's going to be a good pocket knife. Um, so I'd like Case to get there. I don't know if it's ever going to happen because I think Case just sells a whole bunch of pocket knives and I'm not sure they really care um, about their, you know, little uh, quality control issues and everything uh, when they're selling so many knives. I have noticed this is my second 18 Stockman, which I think is one of their most popular patterns. And this one is perfect. And so was the other one that I got. So I sometimes think that they spend a little more attention on their patterns that people really like, like this medium stockman and like the trapper and stuff. Um, but I mean, I don't really know. Uh, you know, and it's a sample size kind of thing too. Like I have two of these medium stockmans. I have two full size trappers. And in both cases, I think all four of those knives are done really well. So it could be a case of case, could be a case of case. It could be that they just um, spend more spend more time paying attention to their knives that they uh, know people collect and stuff. Um, or I could just be getting lucky. I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, I've ranted on long enough about cases, quality control issues and everything. This medium uh, 18 Stockman done really well. I'd love to see every case knife be done really well. That would make me happy as being a resident of Pennsylvania. I like to see Pennsylvania companies doing well. I've been to Case and toured their museum and everything, and it was very uh, cool. Um, so I really want Case to do better. I like Case. I just wish they would do a little better. I feel like I'm a disappointed parent. Like I'm not, I'm not mad at Case. I'm just disappointed. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> that's going to be it. For this video, I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a good day.